Okay, hello everyone. This is going to be a quick little tutorial on all of the tutoring services that the library has to offer. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the library website. Our URL is up here. It's just columbusjunction.lib.ia.us. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to want to click on services and you're going to want to find the for students tab. Click on that. All right, so once it's loaded, you can see all of the um, studying resources we have available for students or for adult learning too, but in this case, we're gonna go ahead and go over um, the things that are specifically for students. Um, so with that, we're gonna click on the Help Now Online Tutoring, which is just access to free online tutoring on any subject for any student, available from 2 to 11 p.m. So let's click on that. And it looks like I'm already signed in. I'm going to go ahead and log out just for the sake of this video. And I'm going to click log in again. And let's pretend you don't have an account. We need to sign up. So let's click sign up down here. Okay. And then, um, so sign up is really, really easy. All you have to do is create a username and password and then just answer some account recovery um, questions. You don't need any sort of email for this. So that's really convenient. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. Okay, all good to go. So, and the reason we sign in is just so that it tracks your progress for you. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and click live tutoring. We'll start with that. And it's pretty um, straightforward. Basically, all it is is live help. So if you have um, any specific questions and you want to talk to someone one-on-one, -on -one, you can go ahead and click on the live tutoring tab and select your grade. So I'll pretend I'm a 10th grader and I need help with Algebra 1. Um, so I click that and then you go ahead and click Live Help, or excuse me, yeah, you'll go ahead and click Get Live Help and they will connect you with a tutor who can go ahead and give you that one-on-one -on -one help as long as it is between the hours of 2 and 11 p.m. Um, so this is really convenient and it's super straightforward. I'm not going to click Get Live Help just so that I don't call anyone up um, for no reason, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the writing lab next. Um, and all the services that BrainFuse Help Now offers are on this tab right here to the left and we'll go ahead and walk through all of them. So our writing lab is next. Okay, so the writing lab is also super convenient. This is helpful if you have like some sort of essay that you need, kind of someone to help you go over or read. Um, basically what you do is you click right here, you upload your file. So if you have like a Word document on your computer, you would go ahead and upload it. And then right here you can ask a question. Um, say there's a prompt that goes with your essay and you want to know if you fulfilled all of those requirements. You can go ahead and paste your prompt here and then say, hey, you know, can you please go over this and see if I fulfilled my prompt's requirements. And then you would go ahead and just click submit down here. Um, and then you will receive a response, usually within a day. It could be sooner, but it can take up to a day. Um, so this is really helpful for people who need help um, just with essays and writing in general. And then um, it does say that you will get your feedback in the message center. You can find that up here where it says inbox right next to the logout button. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our skill surfer. Okay, so our skill surfer is more of a study tool. Um, on this one, it says you can read lessons, watch videos, take tests, etc. So if you're in high school, for example, we'll click view lessons, and you need help with biology. Let's click on that. So you can go ahead and find whatever it is that you're studying, maybe in class that you're not fully understanding, and you can click on it and get more information. So let's say you're going over genetics and you don't quite get DNA and how it's made and things like that, right? So you'll click on it and it tells you right here, DNA is an acronym that stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and DNA is a molecule that stores genetic information. So it gives you a definition, right? And it has pictures and you can just go through and read everything and kind of gain a better understanding on something that you don't quite get. 
So this is a really, really helpful tool and it's got a ton of information. And you can see down here it has prep packs for you so you can do overviews. Let's go ahead and click on animal cell. And then from here you can study and go over it. I'm not gonna click on it, but basically you would click here and it will just take you to um, like the practice test. All right, let's go back and move on to the send question feature. So the send question feature is really convenient if you're like doing homework at your house at night, you're not quite understanding a certain, maybe you have a math equation that you're like, I don't know how to do this. Um, so you'll go ahead and click what grade you're in. Let's say we're in 10th grade and you're going over geometry. Um, so you can go ahead and maybe ask your question right here and you can tell them specifically what portion of geometry you're not getting. Or if you have even like the piece of homework in front of you, you can maybe scan it put it on your computer and upload the file so that they can see specifically what it is you're doing. And then you would just go ahead and click submit question. And again, you would receive a response usually within a day. So this is a really helpful and convenient um, study tool. And again, you can use it for, I mean, just about anything, writing, social studies, whatever. Basic question you might have. All right, let's move on to our language lab. Alrighty, so as you can see, the language lab is help with a foreign language. So if you need live help, um, unfortunately, live help is only available in French and Spanish. Uh, you would just click Spanish and then click get live help and it'll connect you to a tutor, excuse me, connect you to a tutor. And right here, it just tells you that it's available from two to 11. But let's say you need just like regular vocab and you want to study maybe a different language you can go ahead and click there we go you can go ahead and click start now and it'll take you here and let's say you are going to Italy and you want to be able to order your food at a restaurant so you would click that food tab right there I don't know if you guys saw that I'll go back down here it says food and leisure and it tells you like hobbies and interests um, so we'll click food and leisure and we'll click restaurant and it'll give you the word along with e pronunciation. Fuoco. So yeah, you can go ahead and just click through next word. Il cameriere. You can see that that's how you say, I'm assuming waiter, um, in Italian. And so this is really helpful, not just for like school studying, but e it can... Conto. Oh, excuse me. It can also work for, you know, if you're traveling or anything like that. So this is a really good um, tool to have as well. All right, let's go ahead and click on Leap. Okay, so Leap is also a set of practice um, tests and quizzes. It has prep for the ACT, college readiness, and you can also practice GED things on here along with SAT. So let's say you were taking the SAT soon, you just click on that, click start test, and right here it starts you with the reading test and you can just go ahead and work through it and it'll track your progress for you and give you a score. And it can hopefully help you prepare for your SAT test. Okay, let's go back. Alrighty, next we have Brainwave. And Brainwave, Brainwave, sorry, is actually a really cool feature. I already um, have one that I created a while back, but basically um, this is really helpful like if you have some sort of math equation or presentation that um, your teacher wants you to record, you can go ahead and do that on here. It's whiteboard based, so it's not a screen sharing thing, but you can sort of do like walk through equations and things like that. So for example, as you can see here, it's a whiteboard and you can write on it if you want with the pencil here, you can do like Y um, or 
if you want to type things out again, instead you can just do y equals mx plus b if you don't want to draw things out. My drawing isn't the best on computers. So yeah, this is really a cool feature to have and it'll go ahead and save all your brainwaves. So if you click stop right here, um, up here you can save it and then you can also send them. So if you want to share it with someone, you can. If you just want to save it onto your computer, you can do that. Um, and then here on this box, you can go ahead and describe what your brainwave is about. Close it, and then they will be right here, saved for you. Um, so this is a really cool feature for like presentations or anything like that. Okay, let's go back. Next, let's start on Flashbulb. Okay, so Flashbulb again, study tool. Um, it has a lot of flashcards. Um, but you can also study like in game form and quiz form, all of that. So let's go ahead and click on science. And as you can see here, all the flashcards that it has, it has 34 on mental health therapy counselor. So you can kind of look up and find what science um, subject in specific you want to study. For example, it has solar system fun facts. Click on that. You can kind of see the solar system was formed 4.6 billion years ago. So you can learn on this. And you can also go ahead and do like a matching or crossword unscramble. So you can make it more of a game so it's more interesting. Let's go back. And yeah, you can do muscular system, archaeology terms. There's a ton of subjects you can pick from. So this is really super helpful and you can um, narrow things down too from here. So if you want to just do biology or chemistry, you can find that up there. Okay. Let's go all the way back to our final feature, which is meet. Um, so meet is kind of somewhere where you can just start an online meeting, kind of like Zoom or um, Google Meets, things like that. So you can, maybe if you want to study with a couple of friends online, you can go ahead and put, um, let's say you want to study for a biology test, right? And you guys are going to go over chapter one. So you would put that up there. You just title your meeting. Um, and then you have to invite people with their email address. So I'm going to go ahead and invite myself. Put my email. There it is. And we can say that it's starting at 3.30 and it'll be an hour long. And then in the description, you would just put exactly, excuse me, what it is you want to put on there or what, like specifically what you want people to know. So you can put everyone bring their notes to share. And then you would go ahead and click send and that will send the meeting link to everybody who you shared it with and it'll tell them that they need to bring their notes and then you guys can go ahead and start studying together on the website. Um, so yeah, these are all of the features that the BrainFuse Help Now website offers. They're completely free, so I encourage you all to go ahead and make an account and whenever you need help with any sort of homework or just general question, you can log on here and get some live help as long as it is from two to 11. Um, it's super convenient, so I encourage you all to use it. Thanks for watching.